hi 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 hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i'm the song of lawino hope all of you are doing good hope akuna matata anywhere if you're new to my channel please don't forget to leave a like comment share and subscribe to my channel if you're back thank you so much thank you for watching my content thank you for sharing with you guys thank you so much guys i'm I'm so grateful to all of you and I hope we'll walk this journey together till the very end. So today I'm taking you people with me to Naivasha. Let us go to Naivasha and uh, have fun with me and my clique. Hope you'll enjoy this vlog. Thank you. So this was a two nights, three days trip and we decided to self-drive ourselves to Naivasha. Uh, we went to Oloiden on the first night and went to Crayfish on the second night. We had lots of fun. So many things that you'll see as we go on with the vlog. Hope you'll enjoy it and please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and share. Den is a beautiful place, very beautiful. Yeah, it's clean, uh, service is good. They have a restaurant on site in case you want to order from them. They have a bar, they have, a, they have their own utilities that you can order from. But for us, we decided to cook for ourselves. We came with our food, we came with everything that we needed, so we didn't have to use the restaurant. It was fun. Actually, it's fun cooking for yourselves while on a camping trip because a camping, is, camping is purely cooking for yourselves, enjoying it, bonfire and all that. So I, I'll advise you to cook for yourself the next time you go out for camp. you're going as a group of people i'll advise you to take the jumbo tent it can accommodate uh, eight to ten people and uh, it's uh, it's around uh, eight thousand it's eight thousand for a night and it comes with uh, ten mattresses ten blankets the mattress and the blankets are inclusive of the jumbo tent price The second day we woke up and had breakfast and decided to go for a boat ride and hey the lake is claiming back its land like Lake Oloden, Lake Naivasha, Lake Nakuru they are all taking back what belongs to them and I feel so bad for anyone who had investment on that part because hey, everything is gone like Kila Kitu
As I told you earlier on my Mombasa vlog, I have a massive fear of water, but slowly by slowly I'm overcoming it. At the moment I can use anything, I can use a boat, I can get into ferries, I can get into anything. So I'm so happy, I'm very happy. Anyways, on the boat ride we saw hippos, we saw lots of hippos. We, we also saw, we spotted, from afar we spotted a giraffe. And uh, we saw fishermen along the lake fishing, some kind of fishing style I've never seen before. That was the first time I was seeing that kind of fishing style, but it looked interesting. And we also saw, uh, we were shown a house, it's a very tall house, it looks like a tower or something, and no one knows whatever goes on behind the doors, no one has been, no one has ever been seen outside on the compound, but it's been there, it's yearly maintained, like every year it's painted, but no one knows who owns it and no one knows what goes on behind the doors. I wonder whoever knows what the house is all about can comment down and tell us more about it. All that land where the water is once belonged to someone and now it's all gone. The water has claimed it back. People have lost properties, people have lost even lands like yes lands. And hey, it's sad, but anyway, people should stop building houses and properties on Liberian lands. That's how that's how I teach calls it. People should stop building properties on Liberian lands, yes, Liberian lands. And uh, apart from boat riding, there are so many other activities you can do in Lekolide. <laughs> After finishing the activities we had at Oloiden, it was now time to move on to the next campsite, since we wanted to at least uh, visit like if we could, we would have visited more, but we decided to just visit two. So we moved on to the next one, which was Crayfish Campsite. So I know this is the, the third day morning we are waking up at Crayfish. I know there are no videos for the previous night and whatever happened, but we were not able to record any videos because first, where Crayfish is just a mess. Now everything at Crayfish is a mess. The service at the restaurant where we waited for food for like two and a half hours. We were actually walking out. We, would, we had just decided to leave and let them eat their food because eh, there's no way you can wait for breakfast for like two hours. What about lunch and dinner? Ay, apana. So we left. Actually we have no videos for Crayfish because we were all disappointed. We were all disappointed we didn't even take pictures there we left and we went to the geothermal spa for a swim as we plan how we'll get back to nairobi but where well, crayfish hey they need to up their game <laughs> at nagama the water has claimed back 50 percent of their space i don't think the water has claimed back their services because their services are poor you can have a small space but you still have great service but you can't have a small space and have bad service here you will see no it can never be
Basha was fun, we had fun, we danced a lot, we sang the whole night even if you've not seen the video because we couldn't record the video at Crayfish but we danced a lot, we sang. Uh, our favorite couple, Lois and Senior, are always our Alikiba and Zuchu. Ama is it Diamond and Zuchu, yeah, the Diamond and Zuchu of the clique and thank you guys for coming with us to this trip. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Before you leave, kindly don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Please share my content with your friends, your family. Thank you so much and see you on the next one.